Thank you, Jennifer. As she said, we're going to celebrate National Bubblegum Day. Now, we're a few, few days late for this, but I have to ask, Andy, did you set up your National Bubblegum Day tree this year? Any gift giving? <laughs> If there's a tree out there, I need to be made aware of this because I, I like that idea. But actually, I'm not a big fan of gum because you just keep chewing. You get tired of chewing you it. Yeah. You know, it loses its flavor. There's no, there's no completion to you it. You prefer you just, calories that you swallow versus exactly, just exactly. exercise in the gum. I don't like to exercise, so this, gum is exercise. This makes sense. Well, I understand that normally this segment is a bit of a cooking segment. So for us to whip up some, uh, some bubble gum here, Matt, you want to put on this uh, gas oh mask. Andy, you'll need a chemical suit. Okay. We've got a chemistry set under. No, that's, none of that's true. Uh, we're not going to be doing any chemistry. You not can be doing a gas mask. <laughs> yeah, well, I was going to say, where did that come from? Halloween costume one year. It was a long year. No, um, <laughs> like straight off the set of Breaking Bad. We we actually have some bubble gum here already that uh, that's been pre-made for us by very wise chemists at their respective factories, and so uh, we're going to go through some trivia questions. As we do that, if you guys want to sample them, put a few in your mouth. We'll see by the end who can fit the most oh, in their mouth. Andy's been waiting for the bubble tape. Yeah, yeah. I once just put an entire thing of bubble tape in my mouth. Go ahead. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll just keep try cramming the them in, fruit. and the fuller your mouth gets, the less we'll understand your answers. But I think that's it'll be entertaining idea. for the audience. You'll like that, right? <laughs> okay, so our first question. What is National Bubblegum Day? Choices on the screen there. A day to practice bubble techniques, a day to clean gum off your shoes, a day to raise money for a good cause, or a day to annoy everyone around you with loud chewing gum noises. All of the above? <laughs> We're definitely doing D right now, but... We, we are going to be doing D. The correct answer is actually C, a day to raise money for a good cause, Bubble Gum Day took place um, the past we just got February sixth. Uh, yeah, yeah, we, we need to we need to fit all this in here. Uh, it was created in 2006 by an author who wrote uh, Lester Fizz and the Bubble Gum Artists. Looks good. On Bubble Gum <laughs> Day, <laughs> everyone who donates 50 cents or more gets to chew gum at school, uh, and the proceeds are given to charities. Then, so. It's celebrated in schools, libraries, children's museums, all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. A day to raise money for a good cause. Question number two, when was bubble gum invented? All in the 20th century here, 1928, 1906, 1942, Actually, no. or 1973. Close, close. Oh. <laughs> it's gotta be 1906 because Wrigley invented bubble gum, Wrigley Field. You are an expert. <laughs> Is that right? Wow, got a ringer here. The first known bubble gum, was invented in 1906. It was called the Blibbler Blubbler. <laughs> really? Also my nickname in uh, elementary school. Uh, it appeared in 1906. It failed to catch on because it was too sticky and so brittle that it would actually fall apart when, in your mouth as you chewed it. So nobody liked that. However, in 1928, the first successful bubble gum was invented by Walter E. Daimler. Daimler was a 23-year-old accountant, knew nothing about chemistry, was just playing with some stuff in his garage. I think he was trying to invent flubber, um, but he ended up inventing chewing gum uh, completely by accident. This awesome. is a very good bubble blowing gum. Yeah, I almost just popped the bubble all over my face just to have like at least three minutes. Left We've got second. some tips on how to get rid of that, so just stay tuned if wow. you do. <laughs> Number three, and, and keep shoving them in here. I, I, if right, you're, we're we're yeah, fine. You if if you're able to chew, you don't have enough in there. Why is bubble gum traditionally pink in color? Answers are pink is a color that provides happy feelings. Kids love <laughs> strawberry flavors, and pink reminds them of strawberries. Gum ingredients only are pink. Only available color. Or it was the only I'm available go with happy color. Happy color. Andy's got the question right. Pink was the only available color that Walter Dimer had with him when he invented gum. <laughs> Andy's trying to blow up. <laughs> He's trying. Blow blow. <laughs> Try the juicy fruit. It's say, really say that good again. For I didn't quite understand blow that, blow Andy. Blow. Oh, yeah, just okay. Once we're off Question we're number four. <laughs> One of the brands of gum we have on the set today was from a company that originally sold Walter Daimler's bubble gum. Which one was it? So we've got a couple from uh, Meyer. We've got Double Bubble. We've got some Juicy Fruit, uh, Trident. Bazooka. I'm going to go with uh, Double Bubble. Bazooka is a brand. Matt's going to say Double Bubble? Matt is right. This looks old, right? The wrapper? It does. <laughs> What's that the kind of gum that was in the baseball card package? The stick of gum that was like yeah. seven years old. Yeah, yeah, it was always very hard. Right. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. You never really ate it. You just threw it away. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you you ruined your, the card that was on top. You'd break your teeth out if you tried right. to eat it. Yeah, Double Bubble was actually the company that Walter Daimler worked for. He was an accountant, though, not a chemist. 
He invented it in his garage and then using a saltwater taffy wrapping machine, he went to a candy store with a five pound glob of this stuff, made a hundred of them. They sold them for a penny each and they sold out in one day. So Double Bubble um, started to market it to kids. And um, Now I will confess that I actually do not know how to blow bubbles. Blowing bubbles and whistling are two things in life of many that I have no ability to do whatsoever. So if one of you were to teach me how to blow a bubble, how would you, how would you say to do it? <laughs> not, not quite like that, I don't think. I'm not sure I'd take Andy's advice what's on the, it. What's the secret? I don't know. I, I kind of, now I got to think about it. You push it out with your tongue. Yeah, like you use, kinda use your tongue. Okay. And then, and then I just kind of puff the cheeks, yeah. Puff the cheeks and blow. I, I've heard you squish it to the top of your mm -hmm. mouth, kind of make it into a disc that goes in front of your teeth, and then put a little pocket in it with your tongue. Yeah, that's exactly it. And then exactly blow. It. Okay. So you know I've, how. I've, I've tried bubble that. bubblegum message boards are doing you well, Ben. I, yes, they are. I'm, I'm a religious, uh, religious viewer of them. I check often. Uh, whenever I try that method, I end up spitting the gum out and into somebody's hair. So uh, probably not the best way. But what was the biggest glob we got? Who, who got the most gum in their mouth? Oh, definitely Andy. I've been definitely working on, Andy. <laughs> I'm working on the same piece of juicy fruit. Which you haven't good. swallowed any, right? How do you open this? <laughs> Well, we're going to keep yeah. eating some bubble gum. I think oh, we're going to pass yes, it around. So We've got some first, crew yeah. members here who are excited to have some. We thank you for joining us for our bubble gum trivia and remind you that in 363 days, it will be bubble gum, the National Bubble Gum Day again. So make sure you celebrate. Uh, hopefully, your library or local school will have a, a way to celebrate that with you. Uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>